Hey guys, so this is my Reptile Dragon Talon, 800 mm wingspan. Box is pretty banged up, but the content inside is fine. There's a spec at the side. Oh my god, this is a nice looking plane. The right wing, left wing, V-tail, whole body, carbon spar, like this, thicker again. The foam material, it seems like it's the same, very, very dense uh, foam material as the bigger dragon. See, I tried to use a lot of force to press on it, this wouldn't make a dent so strong just like the previous one. So you see, I try, I try to squeeze it. I don't know if you can see it, I squeeze it and then it just bounces off. It's hardly any visible dent, it's crazy. Also flexible. So I think everyone should use this kind of material. Magnetic hatch on the back and also the front. For the rear, I think GPS cover. Strap. There's actually a lot of stuff inside. No control hinges. Comes with this uh, shop light. More carbon plates. Auto mount or what? Or maybe do it yourself. Okay. You wanna check out the menu? What is this? Okay, this is the tail. I think this will be my favorite plane to fly. The small one because of small size and the stiffness high density foam so you see even the body is flexible although this is a very high density foam whoops okay probably just crack the, the glue joint so you gotta check your glue joint so you see i can I can bend it although um not much Be careful that the control horn is actually installed on the underside of the V-tail. There are two types of control horn. This is the one for the tail. You slot this in and then glue it. You can see slide this in and out. Oops, I reapply hot metal glue on the other side. Then I add some more glue. I've trimmed that smaller and I don't have any strobe like so I'm just gonna cover this up. Added some more glue at the side to seal it up so that no sand goes in. Secured. The spec says 45, but the best I can do, the shortest is 47. The longer piece would be 77, two piece. The servo horn should be closer to that side. Wow, if you are using the inner hole, the troll is so crazy. This is massive. Damn. I put it to the outer hole. And the angle is still quite a lot, but I think reasonably good of a high rate. 
speakers it's better to have more so you can reduce it from the radio rather than not having enough so for a longer linkage the length that works for me is about 80 mm or 81 mm for the left side Okay, it's done. So I want to show you my setup first. Servo wise, they are the Emax 9 gram metal servo. ESC, this is Racer Star 30M 2-4S. Motor is a Surpass Hobby 2205 2350 kV. Propeller is APC 5x5. So in this case, I think I'm uh, well overprop for it because 4S is supposed to run on 4 cell because we are pulling a total of 66M combined with two motors. This is definitely above its spec, so but I'm still gonna try full throttle and see what's the top speed we can get out of this using uh, the GNS uh, performance analyzer, it's a GPS speed checker. And I'll be running a bit heavy setup as well. This is 3300 4 cell, so it feels really heavy for like 800mm wingspan wing no fight controller yet we're gonna try it next time it's like a string down version of it except that the wing is backward sweep versus the plank style of uh wing see a boon crack in one piece so it's easy to fix let's tape it back for now Broke our propeller, I think we got spare. And I don't think there's down thrust, probably too no heavy. See power's in. Quite a bit. Your retail, ah. Whoa. Sea kick. Oh, yo. It's. Wow, damn high speed. Oh, uh, the CG point giver probably too nose heavy because I need to, uh, well, hang on to my up elevator a little bit. It looks like a fighter jet to me. So I think this is what you want to fly really fast. And uh, I'm already on low. Aileron on low roll rate, but it's still wow. What's going on? It's it's a very aggressive plane. Um, this is too fast. I'm not able to slow down at all because I'll try to trim, trim it, but this is too fast. Okay, I just better land first and do a bit of trim and adding more expo and also reduce the aileron rate because this is just too crazy and uh, there are a lot of uh, cow dung cow shit on the ground so I'm not I have to be really careful landing it because it's so freaking high speed and I don't want to hit any cow dung this is really troublesome to clean but landing is damn Landing again, land really slow though. It's much better than my Sky Hunter, which just flies, cuts through. But surprisingly great landing. I'm gonna reduce my aileron some more, probably 38 expo to 45. And I need some up trim. So let's try it again. Go! Ah! Oi! Feels a little bit weird. Every time during takeoff, but. Flies fine now. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Oh, I think it's my rudder. Yeah, I think the rudder is uh is wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, rudder is wrong. So my friend said my friend is right. My rudder is wrong. And I uh, although I suppose not supposed to use rudder, but then I mean. Uh, yeah, I was using rudder, so f it just go to the the wrong direction. So I luckily I just okay tell myself not to use rudder, and then I managed to uh, save it just now. 
And but during the landing, I'm not supposed to use rudder and use rudder again, so it just bang to another side. With the chaos just now, let's see what top speed we get. Because this this shouldn't be the maximum. Oh, we get it. <laughs> we did hundred as well. This should be the correct way of the VTO when you go rudder right. The control surface points to the right, and then when you steer left, control surface points to the left. Okay. Alright, so it's flying fine now. And we're heading wind, so yeah, we can sort of fly slow. Uh, not too bad. You know, we are tailwind. So yeah, I think it flies flying and it does feel like a plank. Almost like the, the bigger version of it, the Reptile Dragon. So heading wind again, heading wind again, we can fly slow just now. But I still need a little bit of uh, up trim, so probably CG is too, well, too nose heavy for it. Trying to get a hang of it, trying to fly as slow as possible first. I uh, need to trim my aileron. Definitely feels very wild, plain, very, how to say, very agile. Cause you just put a little bit of input and then there's a lot of movement. Quite an intimidating plane to fly, not recommended for a beginner. Quite worrying to fly. <laughs> Let's try our rudder, see if it works. Yeah, it works. Or maybe it's my rudder that is causing it to behave like that, because I never like V-tail. Like my XUAV Cloud, there's a V-tail, but I just don't use it. I just reverse the servo and uh, I mean internally and then I'll well, just make it uh, elevator and uh, aileron control so I'm probably applying a little bit of uh, rudder when I'm turning so maybe that cause the weird effect it flies smoother, it tracks better when you are at speed when you're too slow it seems to behave weirdly so just gonna throw the V-tail rudder away and just go straight full uh, elevator Okay. So, eh? so funny, it's acting so weird. So you have to fly this really gently, otherwise it's making all sorts of weird behavior. Probably during takeoff, there's not enough airspeed. Even on low rate, there's just so much of roll, and then you can't just bang more than, well, maybe 45 degree. So you have to bang less. That means more space to cover. Then it flies okay. So you see, I have to do it really gently. I can't, I mean, if it's on the other plane, if I bang very sharply, you take care of yourself, you level it out. But this one, when you bang, like, close to 90 degree, you just spiral. So you have to be really careful on that. Oh, because it was a tailwind. Pretty scary to fly. Reptile Talon came home to survive. So should you buy one? Um, well, what do you think? I think the aileron control surface is just a little bit too big, so it's really wild. When it flies at a certain speed, it tracks really well. You, you can feel, the, I mean, the feeling is really nice, but when it's banking, that's where it's worrying because it can just bang so much. And when it gone past that, then it will just go to, into a spiral. We have to be really careful with that, probably fly this with a stabilizer, so there's not too much of uh, banking with a, with a limited amount of uh, roll. Uh, degree. So yeah, if you are interested, you can check our link in the description and I'll see you on next video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Bye!